Hey everybody, how you doing? Um, we're at the point now where we're ready to bleed brakes. A-frames are back in, brake lines are hooked up. There are fresh rubber hoses on there. And uh, I'll show you guys a picture of that once we get, uh, get under there. Here's what I don't know. This vehicle is supposed to have a dot five silicone uh, type brake fluid. But I don't know what the previous owner stuck in this thing, okay? And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna extract some brake fluid out of the system here. Okay. I'm gonna put it in this little cup. I'll show you why. We're gonna do a little test. Fluid's not too bad looking. It's a little bit cloudy. Hang on a second here. All right. This is what I just pulled out of the uh, master cylinder. This is fresh dot three. And I'm hoping that this is dot five. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put water in both of these, shake them up and do an observation. Water in the dot three. Water in what we believe to be silicone. Okay. Shake them up. Shake them up. Now, what we're looking for is separation. If this is silicone, we should notice a separation of water within the brake fluid that either looks like bubbles or different layers or whatever, but to be some separation like water and oil, right? Uh, dot three will absorb the water and it'll just be part of it. And, and uh, so we're getting ready to take a look here to see what we can see. So we'll just let that sit for a minute. All right, I'm turn the camera around. Okay, you can see what I'm talking about here. This is what I pulled out of the vehicle. Get the camera to focus here. And you'll notice that the water is separating from the actual fluid. This confirms that I do have a dot five silicone uh, fluid in my system. This is straight dot three. Okay, regular brake fluid. And you notice that the water has sort of just blend it in with it, okay? You do not want this stuff in your brake system because if you have steel lines, this is what causes a lot of rusting. So yeah, I did a little research this morning on this and I heard about the test and so I wanted to do it just to confirm what I had. That's good. Now we're gonna go ahead and add fluid in the system and bleed the brakes. Well, I've been on my freaking back for a better part of the day. It's been, uh, I think, a high of 41 or something like that. But you can see here, suspension's back in. The shock is completely bad. It's got a bad bushing up here. So we're gonna have to replace the shocks. We'll replace them as a set and uh, we'll get them from uh, frontline military vehicles. Okay, <clears throat> I'm turning the camera around. Everything's back together. I am missing the, uh, the clips here, I need to get two clips, one for each side. Um, I did get the new hoses here, but I didn't get the clips. And uh, I don't know what the hell I did with the old one. One of them was actually missing. But uh, yeah, systems back together. The uh, brakes are adjusted, the star wheels. So I took them until they grabbed and I couldn't turn the drums and then I backed them off a little bit, led the system. Uh, everything seems to be working fine. I had someone come over and help me with that. And uh, that's it, man. All the uh, the hangers are in. Everything's torqued down. Bushings, you know. Castle nuts are on. Cotter pinned. 
and we're getting ready to throw the throw the uh, wheels on this thing and take it for a test drive. Look, I'm pooped. Yeah, but I got to get it done before uh, before tomorrow. That's my goal.